Good afternoon, everyone. It's Mr. Montgomery again. Today we're starting a new unit, so I'm not going to talk about the test we just took or anything crazy. We're going to just jump into today's lesson, and we're going to start off by first, uh, we have to figure out how many blocks we have. If you like, you may draw them also, because we have to figure out how many blocks are in this box to write on this first line. They want to know the total amount of blocks we have. So we can go ahead and count those first. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So we have eleven blocks. So I'm going to go ahead and write that down. But then they're asking us another question. 11 is blank groups of 10 and blank left over. So now we're going to use this number that we just counted, this, this number of blocks, and they want us to make a group of 10. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to use a different color so it really stands out. So what we're going to do is count the first 10 and we're going to circle them. So one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So now that we found a group of ten, we're going to circle it. All right. So, how many groups of ten are in the number eleven? Well, we just made one, right? And we only made one. So on this next line, we're going to write one. And how many are left over? And when they say how many are left over, they want to know how many ones there are outside of what we circled. And we just have one box. So on this last line, we're going to write one. So 11 is one group of 10 and blank well, we figured out it's one left over. And you might be thinking, Mr. Montgomery, why are we doing this? Why are we circling these groups of 10? Well, if you think about how we found this group of 10, we had to count by ones. And if you have to do that for every number, if you're just counting one, two, three, four, all the way up to 100, you're going to get pretty tired of counting. So when we make groups of 10, when we see objects or boxes, like on the screen, it makes it a lot easier to count. So now for us to count the number 11, we can just say 10, 11. You count that group of 10 first, and then you count that one. And you just add it right onto it. We do this all the time in math calendar, so you guys should be really, really good at this. Okay, so we are going to... Do number two with an even bigger number. Let me get a bigger number ready. Okay, so I made even more boxes. Right, I have a bigger number of boxes now. If you like, I'll give you a couple seconds to uh, go ahead and draw these boxes. Okay. All right, so now let's find out how many we have all together. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, and twenty three. So we have 23, so that's going to be our first number. We have 23 boxes. And now we have to make our find our groups of 10. So we're going to go ahead and circle our groups of 10. Well, if you remember last time, these two first columns made 10 because there's 5 in each column. Okay. 
And then if you look at this next column, it has the same number of blocks. It has five. And the one after that has five. That's a pattern, right? You have five blocks in each column. We have a pattern. So if we know that pattern, we know that there's going to be another group of 10 that we can circle right here. All right. So we just made two groups of 10. Can we make any more groups of 10? No, we can't because we only have three left. So now we can go back and find out how many groups of 10 we have. Well, we have one, two, and now we can say that we 23 is two groups of 10 and three left over. See, it's not so bad, but now we're going to do it with an even bigger number. Okay. All right, everyone. Now I have even more blocks are that I drew. So we have an even bigger number to work with and we have to make even more groups of 10. All right, um, I'll give you guys a couple seconds. If you'd like to draw the extra boxes I drew, you can. If you don't want to and just really want to watch real close, that's fine too. So um, let's kind of go right into this, except we're not going to sit here and count by ones all the time because we know how many blocks are in each column and we know how many we need in each group. So we're just going to go right into uh, circling. So I know that there's five in each column and I know that two columns make 10. So I'm going to circle two columns because we know what the pattern is with these. And here I know I need two more columns. And I made another group of 10. And then I know I need two more columns. So I'm going to circle this one, these two. And then do I have two more full columns? No, I don't. I don't at all. But now we can quickly count how many we have all together. First, we're going to count by our tens, right? So 10, 20, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, and 39. So number three, we have 39. And how many groups of 10? Well, let's find out. We have one, two, three groups of 10. So we have three. And how many ones left over? Well, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Of course, we also know the little trick that we can just look at the tens house and ones house after we've made our groups and counted, right? We look at our tens house right here. It has three. We have three groups of ten. Then our ones house is right here. Like that. And we know we have nine left over. We have nine ones. So go ahead and open up to the inside of your packets. All right, everyone, I'll give you a couple seconds to open up to the inside of your work mats. And you should all see a whole bunch of red blocks with a dotted circle lying around it, ready for us to count them. Okay, so if you remember the pattern we had last time, let's see if they have the same pattern. Let's see how many are in each column. We have one, two, three, four, five in each column. So that means two columns make 10. So let's go ahead and circle our, uh, our groups of 10. So it's going to be these first two columns. And then 
the next two columns. And then we have a whole bunch left over. We have a whole bunch of ones left over because we don't have two full columns, so we can't make another set of 10 yet. So let's count by 10 to find out how many we have all together. We have 10, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, and 27. So that's where they got this number 27 from. And how many groups do we circle? We have one, two. So we can go ahead and trace this dotted two that they have. That's how they got that. And then how many left over, which means how many ones? Well, if you know our trick, you can, you know, for tens, you look at the two. And then for the ones, just look at the seven. If you already counted them all, right? We know our tens and ones place. Well, let's go ahead and count these blocks anyway, just to double check. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So we have seven left over. We have seven ones. So 27 is two groups of 10 and seven left over, seven ones. Uh, go ahead and try number two all on your own, this guy right here. Try that one all on your own, and then we're going to go over it, okay? All right, guys, I think that was enough time. Let's go over it. So what I'm going to do first, well, what I like to do first is circle my groups of 10. To me, that's the, the most fun part. So now we have one, two, three, four, five in each column. We need two columns to make a group of 10. So I'm going to go ahead and do that first. So see, I have two columns in, in uh, each circle I'm making, circling two at a time. And then I don't have two full columns, so I cannot circle them. I stop right there. And then we can count our total number of blocks. So we have 10, 20, 30. And since we're just one short of having another 10, it's I know it's 39. And if you weren't too sure about, you know, working backwards like I just did, of course you can count them by ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. All right. And now we need to find out how many groups of 10. Well, there's two things we can look at. One, we can look at what number is in our tens place right there, or we can count our columns and say one, two, three. So we have three groups of 10 and how many left over? They went into the ones and the same thing. We can do this two different ways. You can either look at the ones house right here or count each block that's left over. And we already know that there's nine. All right, uh, go ahead, try number three on your own also, and then we will go over that together as well. I just want to make sure you guys really understand this before I have you do uh, your independent work.
All right. I think that was enough time. Let's go over it. So I'm going to circle. Let me just double check to make sure uh, we still have five in each column. One, two, three, four, five. Yep. So we have the same pattern. That means I can circle two columns at a time because five plus five is ten. Five plus five is ten. And then one, two, circle. Then one, two, circle. And then one, two, circle that also. All right. And then I have a, a, a little bit left over. And we're, we can count by our tens to find out our total. 10, 20, 30, 40, 41, 42, and 43. So we have 43 all together. And how many groups of 10? Well, just like we did before, we could look at our tens house right there or count by tens for everything we circled. One, two, three, four. So we have four groups of 10. And how many left over? Well, we can either look at our ones house right there or count the, the leftover ones. One, two, and three. So, you guys, this isn't too hard. It's kind of like a... I actually think it's more of a fun lesson than, than a tough lesson. So, go ahead and do the rest of the packet all on your own. If you are confused about anything, come sit with me uh, and the other students on the carpet. And you can listen in on what we're still talking about. And at the end of the lesson, you can... Have of course, ask me whatever questions you have, okay? Um, but if you're all good to go, make sure that you go to your seats. Don't tell each other the answers, please. I need to know who needs help and who's good to go. And uh, I'll talk to you all later, okay?